Through six games under Jacques Vaughn, the team is four and two. That's something that nobody's going to be talking about. This team is playing better basketball. Shout out KU alumni. You guys know I go to the University of Kansas. And Jacques Vaughn, the man who played in the 90s, I believe it was under Roy Williams, is over here coaching the team the right way. And the reason I say that is if you guys watch the game tonight, or today, it was today, but it was tonight, but... 110 to 95. Kevin Durant continues to look like the MVP candidate that he is. Okay. Edmund Summers has been starting to cook for this team. He's starting to play an integral role. Nick Claxton continues to play well, grabbing rebounds. Royce O'Neal playing the glue guy role. Joe Harris, the shots aren't falling, but tonight we had Seth Curry who could not miss. He was all over the floor dropping 22 points. And off the bench, besides that, Patty Mills gave some a little a little bit of help. And Ben Simmons, he only played 14 minutes. It was it was interesting to see. And the, the part about this game that I think was the most interesting part was the Nets pull away late against the the Clippers. And I believe it was definitely a result of this team just starting to play basketball the way they been, should have been playing all year. You know, maybe Ben Simmons off the bench is way better because he comes in and he gives them this clash. And they'll, they've said they're going to keep Ben Simmons in this bench role. And if they keep winning, you know... And it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep happening with them. Because after a rocky start, Kevin Durant and the boys, you know, settled in and started scoring. They snapped the five-game winning streak the Clippers were on. And Durant, though, wasn't the only concern, you know, in this game for the Clippers. It was Jock Vaughn had Seth Curry, Nick Claxton, and Edmund Summer all cooking and playing well. And this is another thing. Edmund Summer, since Jock Vaughn has taken over, has gotten Jock's, you know, belief. And in his first game, had 22 minutes. Like, literally, in the first game that Jock coached, he got 22 minutes. And at this point, if you look at it, the guy's been phenomenal for the team. And he kind of seems like, why weren't we using him earlier, you know? Why weren't we using him earlier? And right now, he's shooting, like, 37% from three over these last few games where he's been playing, averaging, you know, close to, what, like, 10 points a night. He's actually been they putting the shooters out there. And that's what we've realized here is that, yes, they're going, they're running a main rotation of Cam Thomas, Seth Curry, Ben Simmons, Patty Mills. What do you see with that bench unit? Okay. What do you see with that bench unit? Ben Simmons has been coming in for Claxton. And then you have yourself, Seth Curry, Cam Thomas, Patty Mills. Three guys who will come in for Joe Harris, Edmund Summer, and Rose O'Neill, and Kevin Durant who can shoot. Can shoot. Yes, we saw a little of David Duke and Kessler Edwards and Deron Sharp. But seriously, like this team has been playing better because they've been shooting the basketball. They've been shooting the basketball. Sadly, we probably would have saw Iwananabe, you know, play if his ankle wasn't hurt. But he was he's supposed to mix mix this game in the game on Sunday, I believe. And then TJ Warren, when he comes back, he, we'll have an update in within you know the next week or two, basically around Thanksgiving time. We could see TJ Warren come in, and this is this is something big that I think people are overlooking with this Brooklyn Nets squad is that they're not a bad team, and I've been enjoying what. They've been building right here, okay? They seriously have done a great job of being able to rebound from, you know, the, the poor start to the year. And now this is a team that is closing in on, what, six and seven? Yeah, they're six and seven. So I, as much as you, some people might hate the Brooklyn Nets, they're, they're starting to turn it around like they should. That's why Sean Marks didn't get fired and Steve Nash did. Sean Marks put a good roster. It was it was Steve Nash who couldn't get it done. And I hate to say it like that, but yeah, that's kind of what, what's going on. So that's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Are you guys in agreement with me or disagreement? Definitely want to hear your thoughts on this game. I'm just happy to see that Kevin Durant starting to cook again the way he's been playing great phenomenal but this Brooklyn Nets team starting to cook and it's because Jacques Vaughn's being a smart coach making adjustments you know what you want to know something about Jacques Vaughn guess what Greg Popovich guy he never got a fair shot in my opinion with Orlando and I think it's just like look he got Orlando three years and we just had such a bad team but he was with San Antonio okay he played for San Antonio he's he was for crying out loud a first round pick and he played every role there is for you could play as a thing he was a starter he was a bench guy he was a first pit round pick so he's a great coach and those coaches that have can like relate to all the players are the ones that do great and 
look, I think Durant is going to help this team. Claxton, you know, was solid. The defense is starting to turn around. I want to hear your thoughts.